It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking about operations with rational numbers, and we're going to be multiplying and dividing. Here is our question. This question has four parts. A student is practicing multiplication and division. Here's part A. The student writes these numbers on a sheet of paper. Here's your sheet of paper. The student multiplies the two numbers, and you're asked, what is the value of negative 35 multiplied by 5 sevenths? Please pause the video now, multiply, and then come back to check your work. Welcome back. So we're going to multiply the two numbers that are given, negative 35 multiplied by 5 sevenths. Now I notice here that I have two different sign values. I have a negative and then I have a positive. Let's review the rules for multiplying. When you have different signs, you and you multiply, it's going to equal a negative product. So different signs, it's going to be negative. So let's set up our workspace and add our negative sign. Now I can multiply by ignoring the signs because I've already pre-thought about my product and that it's going to be negative. So let's rewrite this over here. 35 I'm going to write as a fraction, 35 over 1, multiplied by 5 over 7. This could also be written as 35 times 5 over 1 times 7 because we're going to multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators, and simplify. I prefer to simplify before I multiply. These are large numbers to multiply. So I see that both 35 and 7 are divisible by 7. Whatever I do to the numerator, I must also do to the denominator. So let's divide 35 by 7, which is 5, then 7 by 7, which is 1. Now let's multiply these smaller numbers. The numerator, 5 times 5, is 25. The denominator, 1 times 1 is 1 and 25 over 1 is the same as 25, and we already predetermined that the product would be negative. So the answer to part A is negative 25. Here's part B. The student writes these numbers on another sheet of paper. Here's your sheet of paper. The student multiplies the two numbers, and you're asked what is the value of negative 35 multiplied by negative 5 sevenths. Please pause now, multiply, and then come back to check your work. Welcome back. So we're going to multiply the two numbers, which are negative 35 multiplied by negative 5 sevenths. This time, we have the same sign. They're both negative. So let's review that rule. Same signs equals a positive product. So it doesn't matter if they're both negative or both positive. If they have the same sign, our product, when we multiply, will be positive. So let's set up our answer space, and I'm going to put nothing in it, but this tells me I've already thought about my answer and that the product will be positive. So now I'm going to rewrite our work. We have 35 over 1 multiplied by 5 over 7, ignoring the signs because we've already used the rule to set up our answer space. And if you notice, this is the same thing we did in part A. So let's simplify. We're going to divide 35 by 7. We get 5, 7 by 7, and we get 1. 5 times 5 is 25. 1 times 1 is 1, and we have the same value, it's just positive. So when we multiplied with two negatives, we got positive 25. Here's part C. The student divides the two numbers used in part A, and you're asked what is the value of negative 35 divided by 5 sevenths. Go ahead and pause the video now, divide, and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we're going to divide the two numbers. We're going to determine the value of negative 35 divided by the fraction 5 sevenths. So let's review our rule, because we're dividing. Division has the same rules as multiplying. So I have two different signs. Different signs equals a negative product. So we're going to set up our answer space and put our negative sign in it. Now we can ignore the signs. Now let's talk about dividing by a fraction. And here's that rule. To divide by a fraction, we're going to change division to multiplication and multiply by the reciprocal. You may have heard this catchphrase, keep, change, flip, which means we're changing division to multiply and reciprocal is when you flip the numerator and denominator. So we're going to rewrite this to be negative 35 becomes 35 over 1. Remember, we can ignore the negative sign because we've accounted for it here. Change division to multiply and the reciprocal of 5 sevenths is 7 over 5. And you can see we flip the numerator and denominator. Now we just need to multiply. So here's the trick. 
35 and 5 are both divisible by 5, so let's divide. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Again, I've divided both numerator and denominator by the same value. Now let's multiply the numerators. 7 times 7 is 49. Multiply the denominators. 1 times 1 is 1. And 49 over 1 is the same as 49. And we know it was negative from using our rule. So our product here, our, sorry, our quotient here is negative 49. Here's part D. Determine whether your answer in part C is a rational number and explain your reasoning. So our answer from part C was negative 49. So I'm going to ask you to pause and is this a negative, is this negative 49 a rational number? Pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're going to review that a rational number is a number that can be written as a fraction. And we know that negative 49 can be written as negative 49 over 1. So therefore, yes, my answer for part C, negative 49, is a rational number since it can be written as a fraction. So there you have it. That is how we do operations with rational numbers and our rules for multiplying and dividing by a fraction. Thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.